together let's draw the Lewis structure of Li3P or lithium phosphide. Now lithium is a metal, it comes from the far left of the periodic table. The only non-metal in this entire section is hydrogen, it's just the way it is. Lithium is definitely an alkali metal. And phosphorus is to the right of the staircase here, it's a non-metal. When metals and non-metals combine, you get ionic compounds. That's the definition of an ionic compound, in fact, which means the metal is going to give away its electrons to fill the outer shell of the non-metal. Let's see how that works. Lithium brings one valence electron with it. So draw yourself Li and put a dot there. Phosphorus in group 15, now I know that says 15, but you're looking up here, it's the five here that represents the number of valence electrons it brings. One, two, three, four, five. That is an atom of phosphorus in terms of Lewis dot diagrams. Non-metals want a full outer shell or a complete octet. That means it wants eight electrons total, but it currently only has five. Where's it gonna get the other three? Well, it can get one from this lithium. This metal wants to give away its one extra valence electron. Now phosphorus has six, which is closer, but it's still not full. We should bring in another lithium, which will generously donate an electron to the cause. Phosphorus now has seven, still not eight. Bring in a third lithium. That electron will pair up over here. Now this phosphorus has eight valence electrons. So let's draw that phosphorus with its eight electrons. Now that's three more than it started with. So we write a little minus three as a charge. The square brackets here mean it's charged at all. And it required three lithiums giving up one electron each to make that happen. Lithium without an elect that extra valence electron is just Li, no dots, with a plus one charge because it gave up one electron. Now let me draw three of them because three were required. There we go. This is the complete Lewis structure for lithium phosphide. Some teachers are going to let you take a shortcut writing three times Li plus one. That's just so you don't have to write it out three times like I did, but you'll still have to write the P with its minus three charge as well. There you go. This is my preferred Lewis structure for lithium phosphide. You might get away with this. Find out and do what you need to do. That's what you're always supposed to do in life, am I right? Best of luck.